Hey guys, welcome to this video in which I'm going to be using the BlueCat Axiom plugin, which is a NAM simulator. Very easy to use, but um, lots and lots of sonic possibilities. Today on the menu, we're going to have some sacred cow as we're tackling David Gilmour's sound in Shine On You Crazy Diamond of the Wish You Were Here album. So big, big, big sound to get close to. Of course, I don't have David's fingers, unfortunately, but uh, I have a decent strat. And we're going to try and get as close as we can to the sound Pink Floyd gets on that album um, using three presets. First preset is the clean solo on the intro. Second preset is the uh, famous phrase that comes around uh, three to four minutes uh, with uh, oh, ringing open strings and very wide sound and the last sound will be the more distorted solo that comes after that first preset is the uh, solo clean sound that comes from the beginning on the um, keyboards uh, background it is a very, very clean sound, no distortion at all. Um, David Gilmour actually used uh, high watt amps, which are very high headroom amps for that part, a slight compressor, and of course delay and reverb to get some ambience around all that. Lucky for us, there is indeed a simulation of a high watt amp uh, among the amps of the Axiom by Blue Cat. Uh, obviously we're going to be using that guitar clean and uh, high bright there you go I'll add a little gain because the Strat pickups are always a little weak drive 1.4 but it doesn't mean it's going to be distorted it's just slightly hotter uh, the bass minus 3 uh, we're dealing with the Strat here so we don't want it to get too muddy um, plus three on the treble, so we're making it brighter, but 0.36 on the tone, so we're um, dimming the brightness a little bit. Add some volume, because um, the output level will not be as big as with a, um, a Les Paul, for instance. We're gonna add a compressor. Uh, it's gonna make the, the notes ring a little more and add that uh, particular compression that you can very much hear on the original. Uh, threshold will be minus 34, ratio 6.25, if I can make it there, okay, 6.45 will do. Um, release, a long release at 300 milliseconds and a 12 milliseconds attack. There you go, that's how we're going to compress. Then a little reverb, because we're dealing with very ambient guitars here. Density high, pre-delay 100 milliseconds, length about 3 seconds, reflectivity will be 100%, low cut 125 hertz, and high cut 10 kilohertz. Um, wet 20%, so very present reverb um, as it should be for for that kind of music um, echo which is a very important part of the sound about 400 milliseconds so very slow delay 20 percent feedback which is not that much and 20 percent mix which allows it to be heard without being too present <laughs>
second sound, the famous uh, four note phrase, little more distortion on that, kind of like a pushed tweed amp distortion. And of course, a slow phaser that really gets the sound moving, even though there's very, very few notes. For that second preset, we're gonna use the Tweet Comp amp, which you'll find in Guitar Clean. Gain plus four, again, uh, to compensate for the weak pickups of the Strat. Drive four, a little hair on the stronger attacks, as it should be on a, on a Tweet amp medium minus four since a tweed amp by definition already has a lot of medium treble plus one and tone 0.5 so brighter than a tweed amp usually is slightly brighter than it usually is um, which is the way we want it uh, we're going to use the same reverb settings as the um, sound that comes before it so i'm not going to go over that again echo again but slightly different settings again 400 milliseconds but feedback and mix will be pushed at 30 percent so much more present and uh, the phaser which is really important for that preset um, most of the time you would use the phaser post fx for it not to uh, interfere with the sound of the m but here we're doing it vintage style, so it should be before the um, distortion of the amp. So phaser, intensity to the maximum, depth 50%, that's fine. Rate, this is going to be a slow phaser, spread 20%, feedback 20% too, and dry wet slightly uh, in favor of the wet. <laughs> Third preset is the solo sound. Uh, we're gonna keep the same phaser as before and we're still in a push tweet category of amps even though it's a slightly different sound of course. For that last sound the phaser uh, setting remains the same so I'm not gonna go over that again. The crunch tweedish is a little more distorted than the, the tweed we were using before plus one because here we don't need to saturate the input as much drive four bass minus six because uh, we really don't want the uh, speaker of the m to crap out on the lowest notes mid plus four again a tweet is by definition a very mid oriented amp treble plus six and tone 63 so much more bite and attack than the previous sound and uh, the all-important echo again this time shorter uh, much shorter 100 milliseconds this is going to be a slapback kind of echo not a lot of repeats 15 percent feedback but very present 40 percent mix and again the same reverb settings as the two previous settings Yeah. 
and here is the four mix featuring the three presets. <laughs> 